Well, what, what it is, um, the top four teams in the league go into the Championship Cup final um, and then the bottom four go into a plate. So you've got really the best of the best playing for that uh, Championship Cup. Uh, so everybody wants to win that. Um, you know, Abu Dhabi are the holders. They were double champions last year. We're looking at the, the finals here now going on. Abu Dhabi and Dubai in the ladies and Abu Dhabi and Dubai in the men's coming up. So uh, both are in contention for the league and, and both will want to add the championship to that tally as well. So uh, I think it's been a great season so far and I think Abu Dhabi is going to be amazing. Sets it all up very nicely for Abu Dhabi. Absolutely, for the championship. Thankfully, we have the league now, but the uh, championship in Abu Dhabi next month is just going to be unbelievable, and the bar is going to be raised even more because of the other clubs who are just as close as all the other teams today. And finally, it sets up next, next month the championship in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, you know, we got a little bit of silverware on the on the table tonight and it'll be lovely to, to round off the season now uh, with, with the championship as well i say Abu Dhabi will be gunning for us you know down in their home venue you know never uh, more than a kick of the ball between the two teams so we'll regroup do a little bit of training and go to battle again and let, let's see how we get on it will be manic we will have 1200 players attending uh, we will have camogie, hurling, ladies football, men's fo football. It's the culmination of the whole season. And that night we will have a massive presentation. We will have a big banquet and we're expecting about 1,200 people at that big event. Would it be fair to say that this season is going to break all sorts of records and that night will put the tin lid on it? Definitely. There is no doubt whatsoever. And I'd like to thank our, our major sponsors there, the Park Rotana, for hosting the event. And we have got a band flown out from Ireland as well. So it's going to be, and of course, the following day will be the hangover day, the hangover cure. <laughs> so will it be the biggest end of season ever? Without a shadow of a doubt. I've seen big ones in Bahrain. I've seen big ones in, du in Dubai. But this one will be the, the record breaker. I can guarantee you that. We've had the league all year, but this is different, yeah? This is different. This is just knockout. It's um, the top teams, top four from each competition, play each other in the, cup, in, the, in the cup finals. And then down along, we've got plate and shield finals as well. So it's the creme de la creme competing against each other for, for the last bragging rights of the season. And what are the facilities like? Facilities are absolutely fantastic. Where we have Zide Sports City, we've got a lot of professional football teams that come out and train during the winter. And we will have about eight pitches in operation from eight o'clock until six o'clock on the Friday. And the night before, we will have Thursday Timber, where we've got the hurling and the camogie taking place. And that will be from six until nine. So get yourself down to Zide Sports City for this, the biggest of all occasions in Abu Dhabi 2060.